This is a Sutotal production. <clears throat> Alright, hello Kim, uh, hello Kim Minions, aka Surveyors. This is uh, Dr. Nettles coming at you for our third Chapter 7 practice. Alright, so this one is going to require a calculator. Alright, we're here we're looking at um, pH, pOH, you know, what do they really mean in terms of our hydronium and hydroxide concentrations. All right, remember, hydronium here, that's that's our acid concentrations. Hydroxide, that's our base concentrations. And so you notice our, PO, our pH, which is the negative log of hydronium, is very similar to pOH, the negative log of our hydroxide concentration. All right, one other thing I want you to notice is pH plus pOH is equal to 14, all right? And so remember that um, if your pH, right, the easiest way to, if your pH is like anywhere from like 0 to... So, so you have 0 to 7, 7 to 14, right? So everything in this range below 7 is acidic. And then everything uh, higher than 7 going all the way up to 14, that's going to be basic, okay? All right. So here it wants us to calculate the hydronium ion concentration, right? That's H3O+. plus. It wants that concentration and the pH for the following solutions. And then determine if they're acidic, basic, or neutral. All right, and the pH will tell us, right, you know, if it's below 7 or above 7. All right, so anyway, so from here, what do we have? We have our hydroxide concentration. And you notice, hydronium times hydroxide equals this number, 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So we can actually put this in, right? Hydronium times hydroxide, which is this, 4.63 times 10 to the negative 3. That's going to be equal to... 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So all we have to do is really divide both sides by this 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3. So here, hydronium would simply be, I'll just do it in the calculator because I'm running out of room, would be 1 second EE to the negative 14 divided by 4.63 second EE to the negative 3. And so that gives us 2.16 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. That is the hydronium ion concentration. Now, that's the concentration. To get the pH, remember we say take negative log of that. So pH would equal negative log of the 2.16 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. And what does that give us? So all I have to do is say negative, where's my log button? Log, second answer, because I still have it up there, and hit enter. And that gives me 11.67. So my pH is 11.67. That is above 7. So that is a basic solution. All right, so there's the hydronium. And then there's the pH and the basic stuff. All right, and then if we look here, it says yet again we have a hydronium ion, a hydroxide ion concentration of 1.89 times 10 to the negative 8. So... Uh, we can utilize this equation again. All right, so since I've already done it, I don't really see the need to derive it again, so I would just say that the hydronium ion concentration is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the hydroxide, which is the 1.89 times 10 to the negative 8. So what is that going to give me? 1 second EE to the negative 14. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 1 second EE to the negative 14 divided by 1.89 second EE to the, oh man, I did a 7, I need a 1, EE to the negative 8, and so I get a hydronium concentration of 5.29 times 10 to the negative 7 molar, alright, so that means my pH is going to be the negative log of this hydronium concentration, so the negative log of 5.29 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. So what does that give me? Negative log second answer. Burp. I get 6.27. 6.27. That is below 7, right? 7 is neutral, so this is below 7. So I would consider this acidic. So acidic, there's my pH, and then there's my hydronium concentration. All right, next up. It says we have 1 times 10 negative 3 molar HCl. HCl is a strong acid. So we have, right, in this case, your hydronium concentration is going to be equal to your HCl concentration. So therefore, it is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. 
because that's a strong acid. So it's the same thing. All right, so then our pH is going to be equal to negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 3. All right, and I'm already going to go ahead and tell you that's 3, but I'll show it to you in, in the calculator just to appease any naysayers. So negative log of 1 second EE to the negative 3 gives me a pH of 3. That is below 7. So what does that mean? That is an acidic solution. All right, there's my three answers for that one. All right, next up. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Next up, we have 1.25 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, and this is perchloric acid. This is another strong acid. So the same thing that we did up here for HCl, right? Our hydronium ion concentration is going to be equal to our perchloric acid concentration, which is going to be 1.25 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. So then that means our pH here is going to be the negative log of that concentration, 1.25 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. All right, I'm going to have to put that in my hand down to calculator because I know it's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. That's all I can tell you. All right, so negative log of 1.25 second EE to the negative 4, and it is 3.9, so that's 3.9. Nine zero. That's my pH. So that yet again, right, is below seven. So it's also uh, an acidic solution. Okay. So concentration, pH value, and it's acidic. All right. Next up, here we have um, four point five one times ten to the negative two molar. Four point five one times ten to the negative two molar sodium hydroxide. All right. So for this one. Um, what we have here is sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So our now what we're saying is our, our hydroxide concentration is equivalent to our sodium hydroxide concentration, which is going to be the 4.51 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. So what we can do here is get the pOH of this, right, which is going to be the negative log of 4.51 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. All right, so boop, boop, boop negative log 4.51 second EE to the negative 2 boom and that gives me a pOH of 1.35 alright now we need to relate that to pH and that's where this equation comes in pH plus pOH equals 14 so pH plus the 1.35 is going to be equal to 14. So what does that mean? pH is going to be equal to 14 minus 1.35. So what does that give me? 14 minus second answer. That's going to be 12.65. So pH is much higher than 7. So of course this is a basic solution. All right. Oh, I didn't give you the hydronium concentration, did I? I was supposed to. All right, let me give you the hydronium ion concentration because it's very similar to what we did up here, right, where you just take the um, 1 times 10 to the negative 4, divide it by this concentration, the 4.51. Okay, so that's how you would have gotten that. All right, so anyway, hopefully this kind of helps you do these calculations with the negative log, with, you know, what's the difference between pH, pOH, you know. Um, anyway, so uh, in closing, stay weird, and I'll see you for the next chapter.